Beyond Bromance is what I'm going to call that. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardness Prime here, doing another Hot Toys action figure review on the Hot Toys Marvel's Avengers Endgame Movie Masterpiece MMS 534 Nebula 1 6 scale collectible figure. If you're trying to get your Hot Toys, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And while you're down there, I ask you to show your support by please hitting that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And this is a Hot Toys figure I've been wanting for a very long time. Uh, I'm very excited about this one. I really like the packaging. Uh, you can see it's spot varnished right here where it says Avengers Endgame. And then it says Nebula right here. And all the text is spot varnished. I like how it wraps around to the side. That looks really cool to me. And it wraps around on this side as well. It says Nebula. And then it says Nebula at the top right over there. Avengers Endgame. And then you get this slip cover that you just peel off. And then you can see the figure inside. As well as all the people responsible for creating the figure. Including Cock and Dirt. You can see you get these nice gold logos on the top and bottom of each side. With the Avengers and Guardians logos right over there. Looking very sweet man. Alright let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> And here's Nebula out of the packaging and we will discuss the things that I like about this figure and we will discuss the things that I don't like about this figure. But first, let's get a closer look at the accessories. So as always, I recommend you read through the directions before you start playing with your figure. However, the directions are rather useless when it comes to my qualms with this figure. So you get one gun holding hand for the right side and then you get three other pairs, fisted weapon holding hands or the baton holding hands and relaxed hands right there. We'll get a closer look at those as we get a closer look at the figure. You get two batons and then you get a collapsed baton right over here, which I mistakenly had the figure posed with while she was holding these two. You get the blaster and then these two electric effects and then your standard issue stand right here with the adjustable cradle that can rise up right over there. And this is really a Guardians Volume 2 figure. However, you know, you get the Endgame logo right over there along with the Guardians logo and Avengers over it, which looks pretty neat. And then it says Nebula right down there. And then these batons look really cool. I really do like them. Get some nice gunmetal gray and black over silver. I mean, just the details on these are just remarkable. I really like them a lot. And you can see the collapsed version right over here, which actually has storage on the back of the figure, as I just mentioned. So you want to go with the flat side in first and you can just store that in right there. I don't know why it's just the one, why not the two, but anyway. And these two electric effects are identical to each other and you wanna start with the single pointy thing going towards the handle and you get the you know two spikes of electric effects right over there. And you just weave this around the baton however you'd like. That looks pretty good to me going through like that. So that's pretty cool. I do like these, it looks pretty awesome. And then you have this gun right over here, which is sick, I really like this a lot. I really like this hexagon pattern that you could see right here. And then you get this nice wear over the top on the white. You could see some heat stain right over here with the blue paint over the silver. Nice gold paint applications right over there. Ah, oh, dude, this thing is awesome. I really like this a lot. And she has a holster that I haven't shown here, as well as two extra wrist pegs, which both have broken on me. Ah, oh, it was so frustrating. And this stupid thing is super frustrating as well. You have to put this on yourself, and you only have very little room to put each of those hooks in there. I checked out Optibotamus's review. He had a really hard time with this also. Shout out to him. And basically, you know, for me, it was best to straighten each of these little hook thingies out. It's made out of a rubbery material. So you can straighten it out, and when you put it through, it's like you're stabbing into the figure. You're, you're not going to ruin the material on this side of it, but it's going to feel like you're going to try to poke through the thigh or the pelvis right over there. But yeah, I mean, it looks cool and everything, but so frustrating to put on. I wish they would do it themselves, but yeah, that fits into the holster nicely. <laughs> So we only saw Nebula like this at the very beginning in Avengers Endgame. This is really a Guardians Volume 2 version. We definitely saw her look just like this in Volume 2. If they had added an extra head with uh, the bronze colored pieces, you know, over here and on the cheek, that would have been great. You know, interchangeable parts like that would have been cooler. Alternate heads. And I did have to show off a picture of me meeting Karen Gillan over at the Endgame premiere. Yep, she's touching my back right over there. Ugh. 
You ever get touched by a Karen Gillan? I have, and sorry for bragging about it or whatever, but hey, we gotta celebrate the before times, right? Because that's all we have. <laughs> I really love this wash coming across the teal portions of her head right here. That looks really cool. And the face and everything, it just looks dead on, man. Oh, I really like it a lot. And all that detail and that wash over the silver parts on this side just looks fantastic. Really like this head sculpt. Man, this is just really dope. Really like this. And then the back right over here, all of her guardian garb looks fantastic with all this pleather material. This is actually a different kind of material, but I really like this right here. Nice texturing and everything going on right over there. All these added bits and all that stuff, nice details, little, little gunmetal silver parts throughout look great. I love this bionic arm right here, that looks fantastic, really, really cool looking. And then you can see all these wires and everything coming towards the hand, that looks great. And all the hands look fantastic, by the way, they all have that detail on them, and I absolutely love it. And there's looking at the inside of the hand, looking great. And by the way, since I had broken both wrist pegs, I have to heat up the hands every time now when I swap the hands out, but you can see... Uh, the fleshy hand right there with the darker nails and then right here on the sleeve this looks really good i like the different materials and then you can see that we get the reavers logo right over there really like that and there's the back of the figure and you get the holster right there and yeah it's pretty well padded i mean yeah they give her a pretty good you know yeah she's she's well proportioned i gotta say and then nice material right here on the legs and everything i love the straps right here it looks fantastic again but yeah, it, this is just a beautiful looking figure, man. I love the wash and yeah, it allows for a lot of posability. We'll talk about the articulation in just a second. However, you know, the ankles are super stiff. You cannot get a good pivot out of them, which is, ugh, it bums me out. And it makes her tricky to stand having heels like this. You know what I mean? Like you have two touching points right here. It would have been nice if they flattened out the toes so that you can get more surface area on the ground. So that very much frustrates me. And it's very, very smooth right there at the bottom. I also want to take a look at the inside of the hand right over here because I really like this detail as well just didn't want to skip that so I gotta say really aside from the ankles I'm pretty happy with the articulation on this figure you can move the head side to side the collar doesn't get in the way she will look down that much and you can tilt the head up that far you get great head pivoting right over here uh, the neck will move right down here at the base just a little bit oh by the way the paper thing ah the tissue it comes with this protective tissue right here this was a huge pain in the ass for me to get out like oh god it was so frustrating it took a really long time to get all that protective tissue out and i ended up tucking it in and then it started seeping out of the side right over here i mean i was able to finally do it but God, it was frustrating. Anyway, uh, you do get butterfly joints on each of the arms that shift forward and back. You can move the arms outward pretty far. It seems a little bit further on the right side than the left side. Uh, you could rotate a full 360 right here on that side. This one will move forward and back. You get bicep swivel over here, and then you do get a nice double jointed elbow that bends in that far, and then the wrist is on a pin where it could turn side to side or hinge up and down or horizontally, depending on how you have it configured. On this side right here, you're only getting a single jointed elbow, and it doesn't even meet the 90 degree mark, and then you get the same wrist articulation on this side. Uh, you get a diaphragm joint that will bend back that much and forward. And you do get pivoting right here at the diaphragm and it will rotate. You want to be careful because I did have a lot of fun posing this figure around. However, I did pop out a little piece of the top part of her suit right here. So that was a little frustrating. So with both joints, she will tuck forward or crunch forward that much. And then with both joints, she will lean back that far. And you can see how this slipped out right over there. So I have to tuck that right back in. Uh, you get the hips that move outward only that far. And she will kick forward just that much and back a bit, you get an upper thigh cut there, you get great double jointed knees, and then again, the ankle articulation is weak. I mean, you could turn the feet side to side, but you can't really move them down or up or pivot. Now to measure out this one six scale nebula figure, you can see that she is standing a bit over the 12 inch mark. And then for a size comparison, we have Nebula next to her sister. We have Gamora from Guardians Volume 1. Kind of wish I had the Volume 2 version now, but yeah, you know, they're posed uh, fighting each other at the end of this video, by the way, when they actually helped each other more so when she looked like this, but hey, still fun having them fighting each other. That's something I was always looking forward to in having a Hot Toys Nebula. And then here's Nebula next to her dad. 
Da-da-da-da-da, we have the Infinity War Thanos, and yeah, this figure is oversized, but I'm still very happy to have it. It's kind of funny that I have two daughters, like, I have an older daughter, Emma, younger daughter, Mila, so, like, Nebula is, like, my Mila, and Gamora is, like, my Emma. And then here's Nebula next to a couple other Guardians figures. You can see that we have Star-Lord from Guardians Volume 1, and then we have Yondu from Volume 2, and you can see the color of burgundy or maroon between these three is all just slightly different from each other. And then here's Nebula next to another Avengers Endgame figure we have the Hawkeye figure or the Ronin figure from Endgame and I am behind on my Hot Toys reviews do you guys want to see me review this and then here's our Hot Toys Nebula next to the Marvel Legends Nebula from Endgame and yeah you can see totally different design in the suits I mean you have the sleeveless thing going on at least with the upper arm right over there and then here's the Hot Toys Nebula next to your average six inch scale figure we have the Marvel Legends big time badass Spider-Man whoa got some daddy issues huh hey don't worry I'll be your friend. I could be your daddy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please show some love by hitting that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thank you to all these people showing their extra support by supporting the channel via the Tron and channel membership. If you're interested in the daily posts, go ahead and check it out. Link in below. I just did a video talking about Karen Gillan some more. So anyway, this is an awesome figure. I actually really, really like it, but what a miserable experience, man. I had such a horrible time with this thing. I really, really did. I I had a hard time getting that tissue paper out uh, from the chest and the arm of the figure or the shoulder anyway. Uh, getting that strap attached to the hip for the gun holster was super annoying. And, um, and the wrist pegs breaking on me. It's just like I had so many problems moving forward with this figure. But once all the BS was out of the way... I've really enjoyed it. I think it looks great. I like the posability, except for the lack of ankle articulation, and I've had a lot of fun with it after dealing with all those stupid issues, but I really wish I didn't have to deal with all that stupid stuff, because even for a Hot Toys figure, it was a little extra annoying. It's like, usually you have like one of those little issues come up, but this was just all of them hitting at once, and that really bothered me. However, I had to get a Karen Gillan Hot Toys figure in my collection, and I'm very happy to have it, and I think it looks amazing, and I gotta say, at the price point of around 230 is around the price point for this one. I'm gonna give her a sun rating of I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comment section below. I'm still working on the format of these videos. I may change up the intro segments with the packaging on them in the future. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, let me know what you think of the video. And if you want to see a photo gallery of images and the latest in Marvel news, you can find it all over at marvelousnews.com and you can stay in touch with me on social media via Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, and I will catch Catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.